Well, this is the Electrolux dish made. Um, it's Electrolux's first dishwasher from about 1961. Um, just to describe how it all works, up here you've got the electrics and the motor. It's an insulated motor that goes down via this drive shaft into a small gearbox. I'll just lift that out the way. In this gearbox, uh, the motor turns this platform which rotates the carousel but also operates these um, pumps through these different tubes and each one works independently so as one comes on another one will go off. Um, so water in the sump is recirculated through these five hoses uh, through different levels to spray the dishes from the top, the side to the back, um, making it wash all different angles of the dishes. That just lowers down so you need to clean the filter you can get access to it. It's semi-automatic, you fill it from the tap and let it drain into the sink. Um, you operate the tap manually and at the front here there is a small lever that opens and closes the drain valve. Um, so that can assess how much water you, and when you need to empty it. There's a small overflow pipe. So once you've closed the valve you can see um, water start to come out of the drain hose. You know that the water level is right for the wash cycle. Um, you let it wash for however long you like it to wash for. Then simply turn on the tap and open the drain hose to allow it to rinse. Close it again if you'd like to add some rinse aid. Let it rinse for however long you want, maybe it's a minute or so. Switch it off and open and it's done. Yeah. This carousel just spins round for easy loading so you just turn it to the part you want. You've got your cutlery basket which does remove. You tend to stack plates in the top. Your bottom trays for things like cups, saucers, bowls, small pans. And then you've got a little um, stacking system for either uh, tea plates or small bowls just to keep them upright. You can even get a few glasses in and you can lay long spatulas and things like that there as long as it doesn't catch when it spins round. If something does fall through it's quite safe, the motor still turns the mechanism but the, the turntable just slips so it just comes to a halt, you can tell by the noise it makes. Um, when the door's shut you've got a little window here, you can actually see things going round as they should do. And up top here you've got a little dis detergent door so you just slide that open pour in your detergent or your rinse aid as and when you need it, close it and away it goes. This is just your on off switch but it'll make more sense when it's when it's actually filled up and ready. So the plates just stack in like this and all the alternate large and small plates these are, have already been cleaned some of these but we're just making a little load up and then in the bottom we can put some cups You can't even stand tall things like a coffee pot there as long as you leave some gap underneath and it cleans fine, the water is powerful enough to get right up to the top. Um, and then as I see you could put extra crockery in there. Close the door, turn it on. You've just got to make sure the drain hole is open for the beginning of the cycle. Because what it's actually doing is rinsing the dishes, rinsing any excess dirt off. It's also warming the dishes up. Because there's no heater in this, it's only got a small motor. As you can see, the drain is open, so water is running in and out at the same time. Um, this is designed just to rinse any excess dirt off the dishes, but also heat them up. So you let this run for a few moments just to get everything nice and hot. Which will just leave a little while. Then you close the valve down and this water will just fill but not empty. The water's hot now so what we're going to do is close the valve. You can see the water's stopped coming out of the drain. So it's now filling up into the sump of the machine. Just the water's at the right level. You can add some salt powder, finish the dishwasher powder. 
little squirt. Close the door and then you can give it a time. When it starts to come out of here, you'll know we're at the right level. Take a little while. You can see now the water's coming out, so we know it's at the right level, so we just need to turn the hot tap off. And it washes for about five minutes, five or six minutes is enough to get the dishes clean before you start the rinse. Time's now finished, so what we want to do is start the rinsing. To start the rinsing, you turn on your hot tap again. And this time, open the drain valve. Right. You can see the machine start to uh, empty now, so what we're going to do is close off the valve. See the water stopped. Again, we're going to let it refill. While it's refilling, we can add some rinse aid. So we're going to add some rinse aid. Just open the door, quick squirt. The machine will recycle that over the dishes. You can see it's now starting to come through, so we know it's at the right level. And turn off the tap. And then just time it for a few moments to let the rinse aid work on the dishes. That's the dishes rinse with rinse aid, so you switch off, you can open the door to let the dishes air dry, and simply open the valve to let the dirty water drain away. Sort of have a look at it. Then we have a nice clean cup.